Jackup legs are equipped with the jetting system. Along one side of the truss of each leg two 6-inch pipelines are led to the spud can. The crew are mounting off the top jetting high-pressure hose from this connection. The jetting hose has been bleed off the pressure prior to disconnection. Now they are preparing to disconnect low-pressure bottom jetting hose. The crew standing at the working platform to perform the job. In view of working out, the crew are wearing life jacket while removing the jetting hose. Each pipeline has connection branches distributed over the lake. At the spud can, the jetting supply pipe penetrates the spud can top and continues in two headers. Both headers are located inside the spud can. A total of 12 jetting nozzles for the spud can's bottom plating are branched off from the headers. Any of the two jetting lines or nozzle headers can accommodate high pressure jetting. Water is supplied to the jetting system from the seawater system and high pressure mud pump system with a max working pressure of 850 psi. The final connection between the manifold near the leg well and the jetting pipeline along slant legs is made by means of flexible hoses. Each spudkin is to be filled with seawater before lowering the legs and is constructed as a single compartment. A vertical entrance trunk provides access to this compartment. The floating line is located at the spudkin with a shutoff valve that has an extended spindle operable from the top of the entrance trunk. Before flooding the spud can, the cover for the entrance trunk is to be opened to allow for venting. The flooding valve is then opened to fill the spud can. And one and half inch air blowdown line is provided for clearing the flooding line. If the flooding line is clogged up, the flooding valve must be closed after the spud can is filled. The spud can, the flooding valve is closed and seawater is discharged by an adductor located in the spud can. The adductor is driven by the fire seawater pump. The outlet pipe is located outside of the spud can for discharge into the sea. The crew is making fast and rope to jetting cap as secondary retention. This is to avoid the jetting cap fall into the sea. using 
and sledgehammer to knock on the handle you need on the jetting cap. If you are working at the roustabout and rough enough on board the rig, you will eventually have a big muscle on your arm. He is very strong like a bull. Subscribe to support the content. Turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.